So in this video, we are actually going to go through four different large cap companies that have shown a small price correction in the recent market crash. Now, Nifty over the last two weeks has actually been correcting itself. And just in last five days, it has actually corrected by 2.3%. Now, during this period, we want to make sure that we are actually investing into fundamentally strong companies that have shown a small correction in their prices, but also have a strong growth potential over the next three to five years, purely from a long-term investment. Also, we want to make sure that we are doing a fundamental and technical analysis to make sure that we are not buying any of these stocks at its peak because that's not the intent. So make sure you do watch the video till the end. And before we start the video, comment below what are your thoughts? Do you think the current market bull run has actually got over and the market is going to correct itself? Or do you think that the market will continue to go up in the, maybe in the next one month or two months as well? What are your thoughts? Do comment them in the below section. So the first company on the list is Asian Paints. Now Asian Paints is a well-known company in India and it is known for manufacturing and distribution of paints, coating, etc. So it is a market leader in this particular segment. Now Asian Paints over the last two weeks has seen a strong drop in the overall share prices by nearly 14%. Now 14% in case of a large cap stock is something which is not very common. Now the reason for their particular drop in the share price was because of the quarter two result. Now in the result, it is clearly mentioned that the overall profits of Asian Paints has seen a sharp drop. Now this is mainly because of the inflation rate. Now because of inflation, what happens is that the price of the raw material goes up. Now Asian Paints as a company has not actually increased the overall prices of its products by huge margin. They have lately increased by almost 7.5% but they are also planning of increasing it further by taking inflation into account of at least 18-20%. to 20%. So over the next three months, you will see a further increase in the overall prices of Asian Paints products. So now that we actually know that Asian Paints has been affected by the inflation rate, let's also look at its competition. For example, Nerolac or Burger Paints. Now Burger Paints has seen a drop in the share price as well by a huge margin. Nerolac, for example, has also seen a drop in the share prices. So we can clearly see that the overall paint industry has been affected by the inflation rate. Now Asian Paints generates maximum amount of its revenue from B2C model. That means the company directly sells it to the consumers using retailers or distributors. Now the company currently has a market cap of 286,000 crores. So definitely it's a large cap company. Now let's actually look into the profit and loss statement of the company. Now looking at the sales of Asian Paints, you can clearly see over the last decade, let's say from 2012 to 2021, the sales has actually increased more than two times. Looking at the operating profit, the operating profit during the same period from 2012 to 2021 has actually increased by more than three times. Now looking at the OPM percentage which is the operating profit margin, we can also see that the OPM has always been around similar range, 18% to 20% and currently it is trending around 22%. So not a big difference in terms of the operating profit margin. And looking at the net profit which is also very important, you can clearly see that the net profit from 2012 to 2021 has also increased by almost three times. So definitely strong fundamentals of the company. Now, if you actually see the company's PE ratio, the PE ratio of the company is currently trending at 87. Now, is it high or is it not high? I personally think it's not very high purely because Asian Paints as a company currently has 46% of the overall market share, quite a high market share. And also, if you actually compare Asian Paints uh, PE ratio as compared to its competition, you can clearly see that the overall PE ratio is not very high because all the competitions have also similar PE ratio. Now, something which is very important is looking at the chart to actually understand when to buy this. Now, if you actually see the chart of Asian Paints, you can clearly see that this green line is the 180 day moving average. Now, Asian Paints currently has a resistance in this particular area, so which is currently acting as a support for example. Now, this was the area where I took a small position of Asian Paints. Now, Asian Paints also has another resistance around this particular area. Now, Asian Paints is currently trending near the resistance itself. Now, it will be very interesting to see in the upcoming week, does the share price actually cross this particular resistance and go up? Or, there's also strong potential that the company can again have a small correction and come back down near the moving average line itself. So, accordingly, anywhere between this particular area is when I would again take a position of Asian Paints and in case it consolidates in this particular area which is near the 180 day moving average and it goes further down from here then the next support 
will be straight around this area or will be around this particular area. So these are the two next supports which Asian Paints as a company has. So definitely it will be very interesting to see where the company share price actually comes in the next week. Now the second company is HUL which is your Hindustan Unilever. Now I have made a complete video in terms of why I think HUL is a great stock and why I'm going quite aggressive on HUL and the reasons why I believe that HUL has a strong growth potential in the near future. You can check that particular video in the top i button and also in the description below. Now the third company on the list is TCS. TCS as everyone knows is one of the biggest IT companies in India. Now the last one year the IT industry in general has been very promising has shown great results. Now TCS over the last one month has actually shown a correction in the overall prices by 8%. Now again 8% in case of a large cap company is quite big. Now the reason for this was purely because of the Q2 result. Now even though the company's profit has actually increased by 14% year on year and the company's revenue has actually increased by 16.8% again year on year, the analysts and the investors were actually expecting slightly better result or better performance overall. The stock price of TCS is currently trending at 3400 rupees per share and like I mentioned before the currently the stock has seen a drop by 8%. Now the company has a market cap of 1.25 lakh crores and definitely it's a large cap company. Now looking into the sales and looking at the profit and loss statement. Now looking at the sales of the company you can clearly see over the last decade let's say from 2012 to 2021 the sales has pretty much increased by more than three times. Looking at the operating profit again from 2012 to 2021 has increased by more than three times. Looking at the OPM percentage, the OPM percentage has been constantly stagnant I would say is around 30%, 28% to 27% so has been hovering around that particular area. The net profit of the company again for the last one decade has actually increased by at least three times. So definitely a company with a strong fundamentals. Now TCS has recently given out a dividend of about 700%. Now 700% means 700% of its face value which is 1 rupee. So TCS has given out a dividend of 7 rupees. Also looking at the PE ratio of the company, the company currently has a PE ratio of 34%. Now 34% in my opinion is not a very high PE ratio. Now looking at the chart of the company, now this is a daily time frame and the green line again is a 180 day moving average. You can clearly see the stock price of TCS is coming near the 180 day moving average. Also something which is very important to know is TCS currently has a support over here. So around this area you can clearly see TCS will have a support line because this was previously a resistance. So in this area the stock wasn't going up until there was a breakout in this area and the reason for the breakout was purely because of the triangle pattern formation. Now if you do not know what a triangle pattern formation is I would highly recommend you go check out this particular video. Now what will be very interesting to see is once the stock price comes around this particular area how does the company's stock actually react? Will it consolidate or will it actually go back up? Now accordingly I will be taking my position over here if it consolidates and if it starts going further down then you clearly know there will be new resistance and new support for the stock price as well. Now the fourth and the final company on the list is Jubilant Foodworks. Now this particular company is a food service company in India and it is also a master franchisee for Dunkin Donuts and Domino's. They also manage multiple different chains of multiple different restaurants as well. Now the company has seen a sharp drop in the overall stock prices and there has been a correction of almost over 23% in the last 10 days and it is currently trending at 3703 rupees per share. Now the main reason for this was primarily because of the entire financial year they had seen a drop in the dining market because of the entire reason which happened last year. But again they have already taken the steps and precautions to ensure that the quarter results will be increasing going forward. The company currently has a market cap of 48,000 crores which makes it a large cap company. Now looking at the sales and the profit and loss statement of the company. Now looking at the company's sales, the company's sales from 2012 to 2021 has seen a strong increase. Right now looking at the operating profit, now the operating profit from again 2012 to 2021 that is the last one decade has actually increased by 6 or 6.5 times. Looking at the OPM percentage, 
it has gone up from 19% to 24%. So almost a 5% increase over there. Looking at the net profit, the net profit has actually increased by nearly two times during the entire period. So definitely again a company which has shown a strong fundamentals. Now looking at the chart of Jubilant Food, we can clearly see that there has been a big drop in their stock price. Now something which is very interesting again is that Jubilant Food over here currently has a support because you can clearly see previously as well there was a support in this particular area. After that if the company goes further below then the next support line will be around this particular area where the company previously had a resistance and after that the next support line will be around this particular area. So we will be very interested to see which area does the company actually come down to. Does the company consolidate over here and then go back up or if it starts consolidating and starts going down then my next position would be around this particular area when it reaches the next support line and after that if it further goes down then again it will be over here. Now also I would also want to wait to see if the company actually comes down near the moving average which is a 180 day moving average line and according to that I will be taking the position. So I hope you have actually understood why I personally think that these four large cap companies have a strong growth potential in the near future. Now this is again not an investment advice. Make sure before investing you do your own research as well. Now if you found this particular video useful, do like it, do subscribe and I hope you all have an amazing day ahead and I'll see you all in the next video.